guys, what's up? It's Colton Lindsay. Welcome to the WGR Academy with the WGR 28 Day Prospecting Challenge powered by our friends at Mojo Selling Solutions. Before we get too far into this video, I just want to say thanks to Mojo for sponsoring this 28 Day Challenge. I'm really excited about it. I've used Mojo Sells since 2010. It's been the number one CRM and dialer of my entire career. I've used it for most of my career. And if you're not using it, check it out. And if you are using it, put a mojo in the comments below so I know who my mojo users are. So let's get into the 28 day challenge. I want to remind you very first of all, what you've committed to over the next 28 days. What my goal is for you is to dramatically impact your prospecting so that you set even more appointments in your real estate sales business. How many of you are excited for that? Put a yes in the comments and show me some reaction. All right, here's number one is you've committed to two Xing the very minimum your prospect. Now this could be either with two times the amount of time, uh, two, two X the time you put into it, it could be two X the energy, two X the emotion, two X the focus, whatever it is, commit to two Xing it. Because some of you are already putting in a lot of time, now you need a 2x your mindset. You need a 2x your energy that goes with it. Some of you aren't putting enough time. Maybe you need a 3, 4, 5x your time. Right? Now here is kind of a good rule of thumb. If you're not hitting at least 30 and preferably 50 contacts a day, then you're doing it wrong. So shoot for a minimum of 30, preferably 50 contacts every single day with a minimum of one to two appointments set, set five appointments every single week. Cool? Second thing you committed to is make sure that you are practicing, you're role playing your scripts, your communication of on the phone and at the door prospecting every single day for 30 minutes, right? 30 minutes. Imagine if you do 30 minutes a day for the next 28 days, okay? The minimum, let's say you only went four weeks, only worth the business days, five days a week. You're gonna have 30 times five per week is two and a half hours, times that by four, you're gonna have 10 hours of focusing on your skill set. You do that all throughout the year, you're going to have 120 hours of focusing on your skill set. Now that's the minimum. Imagine if you became even better at your communication on the phone or in person and able to set more appointments. Would you be okay with that? Put a yes in the comments if that's you. Third thing is you've committed to print off the calendar. So if you haven't already printed that off, go print it off and track your results every single day. See, one of the things that I've learned is what I focus on expands. And if I'm able to focus on my results, on my activities that generate the results, guess what? It's going to expand with time. So over the next 28 days, if you track your results every single day, by the end of it, I can promise you this, that you'll become even more aware and even more focused with your business. Give me some thumbs up if you're down for that. And then finally, the fourth thing is at the end of every single week, I'm gonna post a, a link, and you can do it anywhere, but I'm gonna post a thread in this Facebook group where you share your results for the weeks because we want to be open and authentic and get feedback from the others that are supporting us. Be very supportive of this group, but we want to get the feedback of how I can do even better the next week. Okay. Now here's a message that I want to share with you that remember when you first got your real estate license, how excited you were, how much enthusiasm you had and how you were stoked to go to work. Well, I want you to not lose that energy throughout the entire 28 day process and throughout your entire career realistically, because here's how the 28 day challenge is going to start today. You're really excited. You're excited to hop on the phone. And I know because last week, some of you already started to get on the phones and make even more contacts and make even more focus in and more energy and more emotion. But what I typically see in these challenges is after week one or week two or week three, that energy starts to die down. So my tip for you, not even a tip, my prescription for you is bring the energy and the emotion high level, level 10, every step of the way, all through the 28 days. Now, I cannot promise you, you're not gonna have roadblocks, you're not gonna have challenges. Sometimes there's technology challenges, sometimes there's people that are assholes on the phone, sometimes you've got your kid up for five hours in the night throwing up blueberries. Whatever's gonna come your way, go all in, full energy, full of excitement, and commit to the four things that you commit to and act on those commitments. I can promise you this, you will dramatically increase your results in prospecting at the end of this. Now, if you have not already checked out Mojo Sales, go to mojosales.com, and if any of you want become experts at prospecting, you want to master prospecting, let me know. I have just launched the Prospecting Mastery Program and it's helping students just like you set five or more appointments every single week. Make sure to watch next Tuesday, not tomorrow, but a week from tomorrow. If you're watching this live, right? If you're watching the replay, it could be a different Tuesday, but we're gonna be doing two live prospecting sessions directly here in the Facebook group. I'm gonna prospect and I'm gonna share with you my mojo screen. I'm gonna share with you the dialogues that I use and I'm gonna answer questions for you so you can become 
the absolute best at prospecting. Thanks for being here, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and share, and give me a bunch of thumbs up. Make an R in the comments if you're watching the replay, or an L if you were one of the live watchers. Thanks, guys. We'll see you on the next one. I set the appointment, not necessarily always at 7, but as early as I possibly can to get home sooner, right? If I know I've got one at 2.30 or 3 o'clock, and I can make it to another one by 6, I try for 5.30 or 6. And I said, okay, so later afternoon works better for you. Would today around 5 o'clock work, or would tomorrow be even better for you?